You join me in Corby, Northamptonshire, with its beautiful steelworks, class-leading vehicle storage solutions, and being home to the 2009 toxic waste release into the atmosphere saga, it's difficult to find fault with the place. Furthermore, monumental f**k-ups between councils and the various developers has led to this. The Corby Northern Orbital Road. Welcome to Britain's Abandoned Roads. With lots of new build housing estates popping up all over Corby and a general plan to grow the area as a whole, better traffic links and infrastructure was required. Bella Developments agreed to build a new road linking the A43 to the Phoenix Parkway industrial area. That would have allowed traffic to bypass the town altogether and it would have also opened up a new route for the aforementioned new build housing estates. Plans were submitted in 2006, then granted later on in 2007. What started as a normal everyday plan to build some new houses and a new road turned into a right pickle when Bella Developments went bust in 2015. Curiously, originally the road was billed to be opened within a year or two. For some reason it took them a further seven years to not finish the road and then they went bust. This probably counts as more an unfinished road rather than an abandoned one, although Bella Developments did go bust in 2015. Northamptonshire County Council have committed £300,000 of taxpayers' money to assess what work needs to be done in order to complete the road and open it up finally to the public. Of course, inquiries, paperwork and everything else is still ongoing, so as to what's going on, who knows? What that means for us, though, is a perfect newly built road with all of the street furniture in place. There's even a bridge. As you walk up, sort of halfway, having crossed the bridge, the street furniture just sort of stops. No more lampposts or central reservations or anything like that. I can only assume at this point the developers had uh, stopped putting money into the project. If you look out on the left, there is a turning that will take you down a road which will allow you to access the back end of the industrial estate. It's gated off at the end, but once upon a time that road would have come up here before they started to build this road, of course. If you decide to come exploring down here, you might see Rockingham Speedway poking through the bushes. That's the disused racetrack that sits in Corby. It's another great example of a monumental fuck up when it comes to planning and design, but is a story for another day.